Microsoft Excel has launched two new functions, Group By and Pivot By. In this video, we will see how Group By function allows you to summarize your data using a single formula. It's perfect for summarizing and analyzing your data with just three key arguments. It can even replace our traditional pivot table. Without further ado, let's get started. Before starting, please subscribe to the channel for more Excel related videos. To use group by function, there are three mandatory arguments. First is row fields, what to group by. Second is values, the values to aggregate. Third is function, the function you want to use for the aggregation, such as sum, percent of, average, count, etc. Now, let me show you how we can create summarize table using group by function. We have data on customers, including their order date, name, segment, and sales figures. First, I'll convert this data into a table. Press Ctrl plus T and then click OK. It is not compulsory, we can use group by function without converting our data set into a table. Now, we want to see region-wise sales data. In this cell, type is equal to group by, then open parentheses. Our first argument is row fields, which is the data we want to group by. Click on the region column to select it, and make sure to include the header by clicking twice. Next, type a comma. For the values argument, which is the data we want to summarize, select the sales column. Then type another comma. For the function argument, which specifies how we want to aggregate the data, there are a list of different function. For now, we will choose some. Also, we can create our lambda function. Close the parentheses and press enter. And our summarize table is ready. If we update any data, it will be automatically updated in this table as well, unlike a pivot table where we have to refresh every time we update the data. Now, let's see the use of this function with the help of different scenario. Summarize table with segment and category-wise sales information and quantities sold. In this scenario, we need to add two columns in the row field and two columns in the value fields. Our sales and quantity columns are adjacent to each other, whereas our segment and category columns are not. When columns are not adjacent to each other, we can use the hstack function to join them. Let's see how we can do it. Write is equal to group by. Open parentheses. Now write hstack, again open parentheses. Select the segment column along with its header. Now comma, select this category column, close parentheses. Now comma. Now we need to write values argument. Since our sales and quantity columns are adjacent, we can select both columns together. Again comma. Write sum. Close parentheses and press enter. By following these steps, we can create a summary table with segment and category-wise sales information and quantity sold. Next, we want to add headings here, so we will move to our next optional argument. After sum, type comma. Now as you can see there are four options regarding field headers. Zero, don't show. One yes, but don't show. Two, no, but generate. Three, yes, and show headers. In our case, we already have headers, and we have selected while writing row field and value arguments. So, we will write 3. Have headers and show in the result. And press enter. Here, it will show us the headers. But this headers, we can't change. For example, if I want to change name here, like quantity sold. I can't change it. So the other option is that we can just keep it blank and copy the headers from here and update as per our requirement. Moving to our next optional argument, total depth, this determines whether the row headers should contain totals. If we don't add anything in this argument, it automatically shows grand totals. Let's see other options, if we include zero, then the table will not show any total. If one, only grand total. If two, grand and subtotal at the bottom. But to show subtotal, fields must have at least two columns. If we write this minus 2 instead, the grand total and subtotal will be shown at the top. 
This is how we can add or remove total or subtotal from the summarized data. Next optional argument is sort order. For example, I want to sort the table by quantity. In this table, it is in fourth column, so we'll write for to sort it by ascending order. If we want to sort it in descending order, write minus 4. Next optional argument is filter array. For example, in this table we want to show data only from south region. To show this data, select region column. Write is equal to and in inverted comma, write south. Press enter. This has filtered our data of only south region. This is how we can filter data from the table. Next scenario is summarize table with year-wise sales and percentage of total sales. Let's see how we can summarize this table. Write is equal to, group by, open parentheses. Now to summarize table year-wise, we must have years. But here we have dates. So to convert our dates into year, write text function. Open parentheses, select order date column, this time we will not include headers. Now comma. Inverted comma, write yyyy, close parentheses. Comma again, select sales column, excluding headers. Again comma. Now we want to sum the sales, and also calculate percentage of total sales. So write h stack, open parentheses, sum, comma, percent of, close parentheses. Again close parentheses, and press enter. Format this table properly. And we have our summarized data of year-wise sales and percentage of total sales. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will see pivot by function. If you like this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.